Florida redistricting proposals are stirring controversy in Tallahassee. The Florida Senate just voted on a new congressional district, well, congressional districts, plural, in the last two hours. And the Senate's plan does not follow lines recently proposed by Governor Ron DeSantis. Critics say the governor's proposal would dramatically impact the representation of black and Hispanic voters. News for Zach's digital reporter Travis Gibson explains how they would affect our area. Governor DeSantis said he put out his own proposal for a congressional redistricting plan because he rejects the legal guidelines adopted by Senate and House Republicans, and there are big changes in store for Northeast Florida if it's approved. Let's take a look at the lines currently proposed by the Senate, and I want to focus on District 5, which includes Jacksonville and stretches all the way west past Tallahassee. Now, that would change under the, under the governor's proposal. As you can see, as I slide this to show the proposal, you can see District 5 basically disappears. It's replaced by other districts, including District 3, which will now include Nassau County. Now, Lawson is obviously not happy about this change. And you know for a fact that uh, it's, uh, the governor's plan was a violation, you know, of, of the uh, voter uh, act uh, and at the same time, uh, a violation of the Constitution. You know, uh, it's been in federal court before. That's the reason why I found district the way they drew the lines before. A spokesperson for DeSantis called District 5 a unconstitutional example of gerrymandering. Dr. Michael so, Bender, a political science professor at the University of North Florida, said DeSantis's proposal is unprecedented. Governors, to my knowledge, have never done this in the past. The proposing of their own congressional district map. Typically, that is left to the legislature to handle, and then ultimately the governor will veto it or, or accept it. And, and I'm sure, I have zero doubt over histories, governors have been involved in the process, but publicly coming out with a map is one thing. But the fact that it was so different from the Senate version that was voted on and, and advanced uh, is really striking. Map proposal, which is about a week behind the Senate, is expected to look more like the governor's. The House and the Senate will then negotiate a final congressional map. After that, DeSantis could veto it or it could end up in Supreme Court. We're going to be keeping an eye on this as it moves through the legislature. Back to you.